Aphids can appear on almost any plant in the springtime, wherever there's new growth or new blossoms. Here we have some uh, Japanese bearded iris, and they're covered in uh, this little uh, brown colored aphid. There's many colors of aphids, and um, the lovely and talented Monique has just put this ladybug up here on this iris, and we can already see that it's just grabbed onto a large fat aphid and it's got it in its jaws and just chewing away on it. Ow! Let me go! Yeah! Ouch! And that was the aphid screaming away as the ladybug ate it. So, uh, very effective controls and just another great plant that, uh, ladybugs are good on although we've noticed we've been putting them out here for the last few days in the garden at the office and the waxy coating on the iris does make it kind of a greasy pull for the ladybugs but uh they eventually get up there and this ladybug will go on here and feed on these aphids and begin laying eggs and then the ladybug larva will really get in there and do the job you know practically anywhere where you look in your garden you see fresh flowers fresh foliage this time of year you can find aphids and you get your ladybugs out there when it's really cool and they'll begin reproducing and lasting the length of the gardening season for you last bit of that aphid oh let go of my head oh it's like the mr bill show on uh, saturday night live here anyways get those ladybugs out early so they can work on all the different plants in your garden